questions? It, it's grant funded and uh, also the, 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 we have an executive director and one assistant. They work out of the, uh, the Star Children's Center, uh, so kind of combined. Is it sector money or is it private money? Just uh, to both. Both. It's both. And I think it's primarily Office of Children and Family Services, federal money. Federal money. Not cut the it, budget? deficit forces have come back very strongly. Uh, I think if we get up, when we get a little bit deeper into 2010 and the effects of the stimulus, the previous stimulus still wear off. Think about this as the eye of the hurricane. I know it doesn't feel like it up here, but economically this is kind of the, now on a national level, it's kind of the eye of the hurricane. And what's going to happen is, I think, is that things will start feeling bad again, that some of the jobs that were sort of created by the stimulus bill will start to evaporate, and the political pressures will tilt in favor again of increased spending. So, for the job, you know, for, for, for jobs. Okay. Okay? Yes, well, you, if you're going to create jobs, you have to have spending, as opposed to saying that you're going to cut back on discretionary spending. So, my best guess is, is that Two months from now, three months from now, six months from now, the debate in Washington is going to feel very different, and we're going to be talking about not about, you know, how big we're going to be talking about. Yes, we're going to want a big jobs bill, and what kind of jobs at that point, 
And then the question really is, is infrastructure spending the right thing to do? And is it going to be, are we talking about physical infrastructure? Okay. Or are we going to talk about things like social infrastructure, which includes okay. education, okay. which includes all these social intangibles? Okay. And this is going to be a debate, it's going to be a very big debate, and everybody can have their own opinion on it. Right. Um, but I listened to the State of the Union address, and I said, I said, you know, this is, this is just too weird for words. Okay. okay, that unemployment is rising, and they're talking about cutting back at discretionary programs. Right. It, can't, it can't be, it right. can't politically, it can't be done. Okay. So think about three months from now, six months from now, where unfortunately the economic field, we won't be getting these positive GDP numbers. And people will be able to agree that things are bad. Thank you. Any other questions? Yes. Where's the gap on the education side? Is it improper teaching in terms of at the early up Scotland level? Is it do we need better better staff development in the teacher inventory or do we need a different model? So if I quiz the people in this room about what they thought was wrong needs to be done with the education system. I could probably get no consensus vote. Okay, and so between people of goodwill can disagree on the right path to go on education. We do know that at the low end, it needs to be improved. Right? We know at the college end, it's too expensive. We know in the middle end, it's not doing what we want it to do. And we can't quite agree on what we want it to do. So without, uh, I sort of sometimes feel when I delve into educational economics that I want the people who are experts in the field to sort of tell me what it is. We do know, though, that there's a mismatch between the jobs that have been created and the skills of the people that are filling them. But I need to tell you one thing which is extremely important. You know what has happened in this recession? We've had job cutbacks, Norse job cutbacks in engineers. We've had Norse job, cut, job cutbacks in scientists. We've had job cutbacks for people who have the educational backgrounds they want, would, in the ideal world, you would think would be incredibly prized. So right at this point, part of the problem is, not the educational system, part of the problem is the economy. So, you know, we have to sort of fix the two of these things together so we know what the right match is going to be. If I can just add on to just one thought of what Michael said, because I think it's really important. We, as a country, I think, frankly, continue to kid ourselves. And um, if you look at the education the pipeline of this country, whether it's human capital or dollars, uh, we're falling behind. So part of what we tried to say, and any business person will tell you, you got a problem with what you're producing, whether it's a manufacturing good or a service, fix it up front. Don't fix it in the middle or at the end. It's going to cost you more. How is this pipeline playing itself out now? For the first time since World War II, this country no longer leads the world in the number of our young people going through post-secondary education, that is getting college degrees, VA, Olympics, and that. We've always been number one. Now, a lot of people haven't figured this out yet. We're now like sixth or seventh. In my view, that is another example, Michael, of the failure of the front end investment account. And these are the people who are going into further, well, they're either going to get jobs or not get jobs. They're going to be competing with the Chinese scientists and engineers or the Indian uh, competition or the European competition. So the, the, the problem is now manifesting itself all the way through the pipeline. And if our leaders in business, in politics, in academia, in philanthropy, in the community, don't get behind changing the mindset and getting away from as much. There's nothing wrong with consumption. We kind of got carried away. But to make these front-end human capital and social investments, which will pay dividends, uh, we're going to have a problem. We went through a period where we just saved as a country. We spent more than the earth. You, you can only do that for so long. We've got to put back these investments, and it's, it's why this issue is, is so important. It not only touches early education, it changes the habits of mind of so many others. 